Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay, and uh, back with the Matrix in uh, this annoying part. And I'm going to clarify a few things. So I was reading a comment, and a few things that came up. So, uh, first thing, right? Uh, what was it? Oh, so like I, when I was stuck in like uh, a part, I believe the construction site where it's like, uh, where do, why doesn't it show me like where I go or what? Pretty much like if you were to go off the beaten path, and, it, and the game just suddenly kills you, or it's like wrong way, here's a death scene. Um, I don't mind. Like getting lost in a game. Okay, we're gonna go through this like point by point, right? I don't mind getting lost in a game. I don't mind like walking around discovering new things. But if it's if it's like like a scripted death scene, and you have two paths to go into, there should be a warning, like a message from like saying like from like maybe I don't know in this game for example from either Sparks or like in a monologue saying I should go the other way or I should I should before I continue forward let me go find like a way to help uh, Niobe something like that if it's like harmless like you you could walk around one room endlessly but there's no way to die that is fine but if it's if it's like a scripted death scene that it's going to send you back to the beginning you do need some kind of warning there has to be a warning saying again character character saying hey go back my uh, person's in trouble Naomi's in trouble or if you do this without doing something else first you are going to die that type of indicator. It doesn't point to where you need to go, but it tells you that this place is forward progress, and that if you keep going in this direction, someone's going to die, or so, or like you're you're going to game over, something like that. That's not so. That that's not like pointing in the direction, but that's saying. That it just kind of saying like, hey, there's something else that needs to be done in the area before you move on. That's point number one. That should be in a game, especially like this, where if you do something stupid, you are going to die. Because, again, I I'm going to tie this with, with point number three. Point number two, the music. Um, the music randomly cuts out. It's been, if you weren't listening to music, it's because I wasn't listening to the music either because the music decided to like take a vacation a little bit. And point number three of uh, fighting the controls. Here's what I mean by fighting the controls. If the controls are not intuitive, if the controls feel cl uh, clunky, if, you, if it feels sluggish, if it feels hard to move a character, if it feels hard to like do much of anything you can get used to the controls that doesn't make the controls good for example in this game because I don't have camera control it's hard to really like understand where the enemies are granted they are going to appear in front of you for the majority of the game but if you have no camera control in a game that requires camera control or the camera control is tied to your movement your reaction time is going to be a, even on normal mode your reaction time is going to be a little bit less because you're still going to be playing at the same pace I'm playing the reaction time isn't a factor it, so, so the reaction time isn't a factor on harder difficulty as uh, a normal difficulty, I should say. It might not be. I I'm wording this wrong. Um, give me a moment to collect my thoughts. 
So on normal mode, reaction time might not be necessary because you have a larger window. On hard, you, you have basically no window, but it shouldn't matter if you can collect the information to then plan out a route. Right now, because I have no camera controls, I'm basically fighting the cameras because I am using what is essentially tank controls. Not even essentially. I I am playing with tank controls with a movement with a camera scheme that is not very forgiving in a way. Especially in like a third person view. And not even like uh like Resident Evil 4. With Resident Evil 4, it was fine because like you you had an aiming function where you can just like stay still and aim in this game you can't aim it auto aims for you which makes the controls clunky because now you ha you can't pick off the target you want to pick off it it locks on to like the near the nearest target i hope all of that ma made sense we, we, everybody has their different views on things, but those are my three views. The uh, well, the, the the music is just the game being uh, janky. But yeah, the the uh, the level design itself. If you're gonna have instant death traps, if, if you're gonna have like instant death moments or like a moment where you need to go a certain direction. Relay that sort of player in a, in a way that doesn't point them in the right direction. Just a message saying, keep going this way and Niobe will die. Simple as that. And then fighting the controls is just... Everything about the game doesn't lend itself to like the controls and the mechanics. With that said, let's have your finger get through this shit. Again, hope all of that makes sense. I would say, like, right there, like, the biggest example is the fact that I can't, okay, so like, you see how camera control is, right? C-Stick does nothing, and my camera is tied to my camera's, my, my character's direction. If the C-Stick was the camera, I wouldn't complain. Because I'd be able to really, realistically move the char character, at least to like some degree. Right now, I'm only tied to move my, everything is, Sorry. Everything is tied to like movement, camera, and camera is moving the character. This might be like an experimental stage where no one knew what they were doing. Give me your gun. Get it, 
Nobody there, right? Alright. What gun can I use? And health. Also, um, I'm gonna make this a note here as well. If you have to cheat at certain parts, then that that tells me that the game is not in a good state. Like, if it's frustrating where you have to cheat, where you have to, you know, oh, I have to use like a lot of health. I have to use a cheat to get to get by. That's not a good game. A cheat. This is how I see, how I see cheat, right? We're gonna go with this for for a moment, right? This is how I see cheats. They're there as like unlockables. Think of Turok, right? They're there as like unlockables after you beat in like a certain part of the game, for you to start kind of like have fun with the game. I have looked into like the cheats for this game because I was getting frustrated, and to me, that's how you take the pressure off the game. It's you don't take the pressure off the game by just playing normal it shouldn't be that way i should be able to play both difficulties just fine hard hard mode should just require more attention uh let me get grab. i don't have shotgun huh Alright, I'm gonna be quiet for like a good moment of the game.
You see how the floor stopped anything and made me go into a falling animation. You can't tell me that, that there's nothing that's even with focus. There is no saving this game. If the floor that's elevated higher than me puts me in a falling animation where I can't do anything. That is bad game. That, that's a bad design because like that elevation, like th what should happen realistically in that moment is if I jump there, my feet should be planted on the ground, even at an elevated height, and me being able to do another action as soon as my feet hit the ground. Not me going to a falling animation for me to, for my feet to hit the ground. This is fighting the controls. Because the controls say, oh, hey, you're falling even though you should be on the ground from a, a focused dodge or a focused jump. This is what I mean by fighting the controls. That shouldn't be a... That should that should not have resulted in my death. That should have resulted in something else. Like um, another moment to like be able to do something. Cause now I, I can't rely on slopes to save my ass. That'll be a thing, right? If I can't rely on the, if I can't just like, if these slopes are going to be like the death of me. Take your location, please respond. Cause like that, that should not be a thing in this game. Do this. No. It's also why they give you like certain weapons, right? Like I have this grenade launcher that can do something but doesn't. Again, that's slow. how again slow again sluggishness with the, with the slope this is, this is a control control issue I, I don't control well on slopes in other words the game shouldn't have slopes it really shouldn't Alright, let's start using this shotgun here. Too many times. Oh. 
See, another thing about the controls is if I fire a gun, like, there should be a reaction from my enemies. It shouldn't be I get to fire my gun, they get to fire theirs, and, like, there's, like, no accuracy bonus or penalty. There's nothing. What did I just flip on? Like, I I'm sorry, but, like... This is fighting the controls. You're not fighting the enemies so much as like you're making sure the controls work in your favor. And this exemplifies why the controls suck. You can't rely on ramps. Ramps are your enemies. You can't rely on focus. Because focus runs out entirely too fast in many firefights. A lot of it is just a weight to recover. It, like even on normal mode. The fact is, you're going to be fighting the, the controls versus the enemy. This game should have just been a beat em up. If you really want to be technical, this game should have been a beat em up. It should have been going around, you're punching people in the face. That is it. It shouldn't try to involve guns when it know it can't even, like, work out the issues it already has. Now this gave me this other shotgun, right?
Okay. Uh, no, actually, we'll go with the shotgun here. Good amount of HP. Anybody else here? Why did it take so many shots? Again, the reaction. There should be a like a rea a visceral reaction to be hit by a shotgun, but other than like one pellet hits and you fly back. I'm not mistaken, there should be enemies over here as well. Die already, goddamn. Like, why do you, why does someone like that take like, you know, a thousand shots, right? There goes one guy there. He's still there. I don't wonder if I can do this. Nope. No, like, oh. like, how do you know where you're gonna throw the grenade? How do you know where things are gonna land? There's no indication. There's no. There's like, there's no indication of enemy taking damage. There, I, I don't mind that they're not being a health bar. But when you don't know how, how much damage you're doing, how much damage you realistically can do, you have to gauge how many bullets it takes to do anything. You have to re figure out how much damage do they do. Again, you want to emphasize normal mode. I'm going to emphasize normal shouldn't matter. What what should matter is can I adapt to the situation quickly enough? That's what should matter. It shouldn't matter about normal or hard. Because if I have to put the game on normal mode, and if you're going to say normal mode, I'm dropping this game, and then that'll be that. Let's not... Let's not keep emphasizing normal mode, normal mode, normal mode. 
Let's not. I picked hard because I wanted a challenge. I'm getting my challenge. But I, I'm fighting the controls. I'm fighting the mechanics of the game that doesn't lend itself to the game itself. Nothing about this game, it's giving me an indication of am I doing something right or wrong. You need you need that indication of am I doing something right or wrong without it basically throwing you to the beginning of the chapter or the beginning of the level or the big or the beginning. So normal mode wouldn't solve the issue of game is bad. It just says, hey, the game is bad. So here's like an easier time to get through the story. I don't care about the story of the game. I really don't. But if it's play normal mode to like have like some semblance of enjoyment in the game, I'm still going to complain the controls are bad. I'm still going to complain the mechanics are bad. The terrain is bad. The game is bad. Because then on normal mode, I'm just going to complain the game is too easy. And I'm not going to want to play the game. We're going to th- go through this shit one more time. At some point, I might just do a comparison of like normal versus hard. Do their reaction time actually slow down? If not, it's not an issue of normal or hard. It's just an issue of numbers. Because I, I, I played Niobe on normal for a little bit to see what the difference was. The fighting was still bad. The health pool was still the same, or it felt the same. Switching of the weapons feels terrible. Might as well just do that to disarm you right now. What is the next segment here?
my what the fuck i'm pressing z to take your gun <sighs> see this moment you want to say normal mode stop with normal mode okay if normal mode i'm gonna have an easier time and hard mode i'm not Okay, understandable, but you ha I think I I don't know if you have to use cheats on normal mm -hmm. mode. If you have to use cheats on normal mode, the game is not good. That is it. Like I will end w once we get to like the end of this game, I will emphasize how bad everything is. Like, th this offensive grenade that I've had the entire time, I have no place to use it. I have no indication of where it's being thrown. It bounces off so much things. It can blow up literally in front of my face. Half the guns, half the guns, I don't need that. Like, what's another gun I don't need? I don't need that. Cause like I'm not getting anything else out of that. These sniper rifles I don't need. Right now these guns are just clogging up my space. This grenade launcher I don't need. How did he shoot me on the floor? In my opinion, this game should function more like a fighting game. Because the moment you go into fighting, they stop shooting.
again, he shot me on, when he was on the floor. Meaning, even after they're knocked down, there's no guarantee they won't shoot me. Chill here. Focus needs to be up to like using a uh, UMP here. Okay. Keep the health at a nice minimum. What's my UMP at? Okay. able to take pick up two UMPs just in case. I have the health to put me at a hundred.
and it doesn't help that this loops. This is, or it looks like it's looping. God. You know I'm not I'm not waiting for my health to recover. And true shotgun. end up at help just in case um we'll use this shotgun for now okay one guy down Okay, I have more of this.
shit. I may have lost them. Actually, I can start using this gun here. took so fucking long. <sighs> We're in and ready to move. Got it. Go to the augmented radioactive waste area. Plant your first charge there. Head that way on this catwalk. It should lead you right to it. That area is locked down. I'm headed to the Logistical Control Center to do some unlocking. Yes, I would love to save my progress. Fuck this level. Follow the signs to the augmented radioactive waste storage room. You've got to get in there and plant your charge. Okay. <sighs> Gonna end it here. So. My thoughts on everything so far. I have to take it slow. There was no, like, let me speed up, take it slow, figure out my surroundings, use what little camera control I have, and I have to be doing that in big rooms like that. The thing is, this is what it is, right? There is no room of, I'm not taking damage. You are guaranteed to take damage because you can't just pop out of cover and then not get blasted almost immediately. 
You can't do much of anything without getting blasted immediately. The reaction time is pretty much immediately. Which means, you one, you, you need like almost intensive knowledge of like the game and where the enemies are going to spawn at and their movement. One. Two, there's a lot of jitter within both the enemies and myself to where the terrain really messes with everything. For example, the you saw a couple of guards just like move back and forth as if they're trying to like path out of way to me but can't and trying to path out the other way. There's a lot wrong with this game to the point where a simple play on normal mode is not going to suffice. It'll get me through the story but that's about it. It might get me through the story, I should say. And that'll be about it. But again, if you have to like use cheats on like a certain part of the game. If, if you have to use cheats on a game for like your first playthrough or whatever. Something is not right with the game. You shouldn't have to resort to cheats to try to get an even playing field. You should already be understanding what you should be doing. There should be an understanding of like, okay, where do I go? And if there's like a break in like a level or like a split path that leads to like certain death, there should be an indication somewhere saying, it doesn't be, have to be an arrow pointing you in the direction. It should be an indication of, if I keep going, Niobe will die. It shouldn't be... You go, now you'll be dies, and now you're back to the beginning. Same thing with here. With here is a lot different. Uh, Transformer 2 is a lot different because it's just a long corridor. It, it's literally just long. It could have been shortened down to like half the length, half the battles. But the fact that it was long, your sight lines, you have none. And then the, here's the kicker. When you understand, when you start understanding like game mechanics, for example, when you play Doom way too much, like me, you understand that there are certain trigger points in which enemies spawn. You understand like if I cross a path, an enemy will spawn. Much like with the uh, sewer level going down the um, stairway, I I passed some some point, but. If you look in that general direction and there's nothing obscuring your vision, they won't spawn because the game, the game is trying to put like the illusion of the enemy walked to get there instead of making like an enemy, instead of spawning the enemy all the way up at the top and making them walk, they spawn it in that one location. To make it simulate that they walk there. Same thing with here. They Those enemies aren't there. Until you cross a trigger point. Which is set further back. Which spawns them behind the terraformers. the And like the obstacles. Which they can then run around. And try to path their way towards you. Maybe some will, will hide behind cover. There's a lot wrong with this game that even on normal mode normal mode will emphasize it way too much where you can break their AI and on hard you can't break their AI you can still break their AI it's just you have half the reaction time to break the AI and the thing is this is on another thing. This game lends itself to more close quarters fights than it does long range gunfights. So it should have just been a beat em up. And that and that should have been it. Anyways, those are my, my thoughts on the on, on everything here. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll enjoyed. Yes, I got frustrated, but it's 
I, I've played bad games before. I've enjoyed bad games. Because, like, they were bad in the sense of, like, what what happened and I'm dying of laughter. This is a game where there is no laughter to, to be found or very little. Because the game breaks not in your favor, but in the enemy's favor. Most of the time. Again, if you want to em emphasize normal mode then I would have just been like, yeah, I'm done with the game. I am i don't want to play it because it's way too easy. The AI is, like, bad. Much like with a lot of games, I like to play on the hardest difficulty because I grew up where difficulty wasn't a thing and difficulty kind of, like, ramps up. This is a game where you have to, like, abuse the AI. You have to abuse the mechanics. You have to abuse the controls and, like, how the AI operates. Like, your best weapon is to disarm your opponents. That, that's your best weapon. And as you saw, I'm disarming opponents. I'm also wasting ammo because if you have full ammo, you can't take the gun, which means they can pick it back up. Anyways, that being said, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you guys later.